Let me start by saying I believe mothers should be respected, loved, honored, and cherished. Most certainly, they should be protected. Webster tells us that a mother is a female parent, one who gives birth. But for those of us with a good mom, we know of an even greater worth. She was the one who was always there, knowing just the right time to say yes. Though hated then, we see now that even her no's were meant for our best. In times of hurt, her words captivated our hearts. Working what some would call her mommy magic, we see now that it was just grace and love as she helped us through times so tragic. But before we get swept away in a world of fairy tales and myth, we get pause, realizing that Mother's Day for all is not a day for joy and bliss. For some people, the thought of Mother's Day causes them to mourn. For this day is one of great pain and suffering, a day when their hearts are torn. Divorced, abused, abandoned, words that have left many moms feeling alone as they never settled into their role, trying instead to protect their children in their home. And what about the pain endured by those who can never have a baby, leading them to believe that God's love is at best a maybe for all of you ladies who long for the great treasure of a new birth May I speak life into your heart. It is your heart, not your womb, that is the measure of your true worth. The emptiness you feel right now because there is no life within your womb can only be filled by the gospel, not a child, a job, or even a faithful groom. And others of you may be struggling from the fact that you bought the world's distortion. The pain you feel today is rooted in yesterday's abortion. But before we go any further, allow me to speak life where death may reign. Jesus' blood is sufficient to cleanse even the darkest sin stain and to heal the deepest soul's pain. Draw from your past, but don't live there, for to do so will turn your heart to stone. But look to the love of Jesus, a love that on an old rugged cross for the world was shown. For all the moms who gain the status, not in a hospital, but rather in a court of law, we praise God that through adoption, you too answered the motherhood call. And finally, for those moms who are no longer on this earth and sod, we pray that today we'll find you cherishing the moment and mothers given to you by God. Moms, we stand in your honor today. We thank you for all that you have done. May you continue to mom well until you can no longer see the sun. S-U-N, you know the ball of fire that hangs in the sky. May the S-O-N reignite your passion. May you pass it on before you die. May all the hurts and the joy and the pains of your stories simply just not be wasted, but may they from your memory be cut and on your children's heart pasted. Happy Mother's Day, moms. We truly value all your tendencies, even your little quirks. But most of all, we thank you for modeling for us that love truly works. What I'm really thankful about my mom is that now I understand what she says when you understand one day. And so, um, before I had kids, I, she would always say that, and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. And so I just brushed it off a lot of times, but now I um, understand that um, things that she said then are reality now. Um, so that has really made a big difference in um, my life. But my mom was awesome. And um, I wouldn't do give her free thing in the world. <laughs> she's become a whole lot more patient, and um, she looks for advice where growing up she didn't. She got where she, she didn't want advice from me. That's hard as a mom, but now that she's had kids, she's come back and she asks my opinion. She looks for what I did to her as a child.
And that has been probably the biggest thing is that to realize that I'm still needed. <laughs> mommy, hey mommy. What is your mama's name? What's the craziest thing your mom's ever done? Uh, that's the same thing. Um, driving was crazy. The way she drives. Uh. <laughs> if you could tell your mom how much you love her, how would you describe how much you love her? Typically. Um. Typically. Okay, show me. That's how much you love your mom? No, um, all the way to you, <laughs> all the way to there. Okay. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. I love you. Mommy. Okay. I'm four years old and I'm Hudson. Carter, five, I mean six. Just turned six. Can you guys tell me what your mom's name is? Hey, Mama. We call her Mama, but her name, her real name's Heather. Carter, tell me what is your favorite thing about your mom? Playing with me at night time. Does your mom pray with you guys? Yes. Does she pray with you before you go to bed at night? Yes. Not really. Yes. A lot. She always 